Imagine you have a microcontroller that has 7 GPIO pins in a ground. There is an LED you need to light up. It is straightforward, right? You will connect the positive terminal of the LED to one of the GPIO and negative to the ground. Now when you set the GPIO to 1, the LED glows. What if you have 4 more LEDs? Simple again, you connect them to available 4 GPIO pins and you're good to go. What if you have 3 more? Aha! Now we have run out of GPIO pins. This is where shift registers comes to rescue. A shift register is a device that lets you control many LEDs or devices without utilizing all the GPIOs available to you. The shift register that we are looking at today is 74HC595. It is a serial in parallel out type, meaning we give serial input to it and we get multiple out outputs from it. It has 8 output pins. This is where we connect LEDs or any other devices we'd like to control. It has a clock pin, it has a data pin, it has a latch pin. I'll explain what is the significance of these three pins soon, but there are other pins in the SR too, but these are the most important ones to know for now. Connect data pin, latch pin, and clock pin to microcontroller's GPIO pins. Now we have consumed three GPIO pins of microcontroller for controlling the shift register. Now we interface the LED's positive terminals to the shift register's output. These are the output pins identifiers. The last most one is output 0 and it increments towards left. These eight outputs represents eight bits. When we set the last bit to binary 1, the LED connected to output 0 close. When we set the bit 1 to 1, the LED connected to output 1 close. The LED glows based on what bit is set to 1. Here, Q7, which is the 7th output, is called MSB, most significant bit, and Q0 is least significant bit, meaning the first bit you send to the shift register is stored in Q7, which is output 7, and it is moved when it is shifted. We will look at shifting in a detailed manner in a minute. Now, how do we send signal to shift register to turn on a specific LED? We take 8 bits and set one specific bit to 1. In this example, we set the 0th output pin to 1 and send it to GPIO connected to shift register's data pin. LED 0 close. This is how we control maximum devices with minimum use of GPIOs. Let's see how shift registers work internally. This is a flip-flop. It simply stores data. The data stored in the flip-flop is either 0 or 1, binary. A shift register is made of a series of flip-flops connected together. The 74HC595 has 8 flip-flops in it, corresponding to 8 bits. Each flip-flop in this register has an output terminal. It has three key inputs as mentioned in the previous section of this video. Data pin. This is where we send data into the register. A clock pin. When it is pulsed, it shifts the data through the flip-flops, which eat with each pulse moving the bits one position down the line. It takes eight clock pulses to fully load an 8-bit value into the shift register. A latch pin. This controls when the data in the shift register is transferred to output pins. When the latch pin is activated, the data in the flip-flop is output to the connected devices, such as LEDs. For example, to light up an LED connected to output 0, we send an 8-bit data with 0th bit flip to 1. The data bit 1 is loaded into the first flip-flop. With each clock pulse, it moves one position down the line, eventually settling in the last flip-flop after 8 pulses. Once all bits are correctly loaded into their respective flip-flops, we toggle the latch pin to transfer the data to the output pins. Then the LED collector to output 0 lights up. Let's look at a practical example of using a shift register. 
I'm using a platform called Wow Key to simulate this circuit. I've taken a ESP32, a 74HC595 and 8 LEDs and hooked all of them together. Here's how I've connected everything. I've connected the data pin of shift register to GPIO19 of uh, ESP. I've connected the clock pin to GPIO18 of the ESP. I've connected latch pin to GPIO5 of ESP. I've connected the VCC of 74HC uh, to 5 volt supply of um, ESP. And uh, I've connected uh, OE, which stands for output enable, to ground. And I've connected MR to 5 volt of ESP32. Now let's look at the code that I've written uh, to drive the uh, LEDs using MicroPython. We use pin class from machine package to drive the GPIO pins and uh, time to introduce delays. First we assign specific GPIO pins for data, clock and latch. The key part of the code is the shift out function. It takes binary data as value for input, loops through each bit here and pulses the clock to shift each bit into its respective register or flip-flop in the shift register. I've defined an array of values here. Uh, the values are in hex and uh, they will expand to binary uh, when they go into the shift out. So the 0x01 stands for this, uh, 7 zeros and the last bit is 1 and 0x02 stands for this. You can use any hex to uh, binary converter to get these values. And uh, I loop through the outputs and I send uh, each um, LED state values to the shift out function and uh, the LEDs should glow. Let's try to run this uh, simulation and see how it looks. Prints what LED is going up based on the value we send. So we in this video are controlling um, 8 LEDs by using just 3 GPIO pins of microcontroller. In this video, we have explored how to use HC595 shift register with an ESP32 to control multiple LEDs with only using few GPIO pins. We walked through wiring, coding and how to how the data is shifted through each register to light up each LED. Using shift registers is a powerful technique to expand the capabilities of your microcontroller projects without running out of GPIO pins. Whether you're working on an LED matrix, driving multiple displays, or controlling a variety of outputs, understanding how to use a shift register like, like this one can open up a lot of possibilities. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or if there is something specific you would like to see in the future videos. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.